presentation of today's game. I'm Kevin Harlan. With me courtside, Clark Kellogg. And across the way on the sidelines, David Aldridge. We should be in for a great game here. Clark, it's the Chicago Bulls taking on the visiting Atlanta Hawks. I'm ready for a good one, partner. Listen to these Chicago fans. Extremely excited to get this underway and see two All-Stars, Dominique Wilkins and Michael Jordan, go at it. This could be an outstanding scoring contest between these two. You said it. Buckle in. Clark, part of what makes Wilkins and Jordan so exceptional is how many ways they can get points. Yeah, they score a lot of different ways, Kevin. Their offensive games are really versatile and complete. They can knock down threes, hit the mid-range jumper, and, and you know they both can do damage at the rim. And out there for Atlanta, Spud Webb at the point with Doc Rivers at the two. At the forward positions, Dominic Wilkins and Moses Malone. John Konkak will be at center. And starting things off for the Bulls, it's John Paxson at point guard with Michael Jordan also at the guard. Then Scottie Pippen and Horace Grant at the three and four. The veteran, Bill Cartwright in the middle. The expectations are high for Jordan and Wilkins in this one. They're both exceptional scoring threats. And I know their teams are expecting each of them to be the difference makers out there as they try to get the W. Here's Concamp. Down to five on the shot clock. Wilkins. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for it. You know, often, Clark, it's the team's respective leader who sets the tone for their whole squad. You are correct, partner. So if Jordan or Wilkins can manage to get off to a hot start, that could spread to the other guys and get their whole team rolling early. That's a good point. Now Webb following the three-point attempt by Michael Jordan. And that one's good. Wilkins. Wilkins and Jordan. <laughs> a couple of talented one-on-one -on -one players who are both going to be seeking mismatches in this one. And you know, Kevin, if you're on either of these teams, you've got to be ready to come at Jordan and Wilkins defensively. Don't let them dictate things. Low effort defense, not going to get it done because they'll take advantage of that fully. Oof. Hey, this is a signature move for Dominique, a trademark of his game rocketing off the floor and banging that thing down. The shot's good from Jordan. And Jordan is simply amazing at finishing through contact. Doesn't matter what you throw at him or who, he finds a way to score. The two scoring leaders facing off. But to dig deeper, let's go to a guy who can dig as deep as any, David Holdridge, D.A. Thanks, guys. We know that Dominique and Jordan scoring will probably be the big story of the night. But there's a lot more to these guys' games that could affect the outcome. With Wilkins, we've seen a new focus from him on improving his rebounding. And as always, Jordan's defense can be just as impactful as his offense. Guys, back to you. You know, David, that's an interesting point, and I, I think you're right. It's not just Clark about scoring tonight. It's got to be a multi-faceted game. Wouldn't you agree? I certainly would, Kevin. Limiting your opponent's touches and disrupting their shot attempts and their offensive flow, I think, could be the real name of the game in this one. You just can't get it done with offense alone. I know Jordan takes pride in his defense. We'll, we'll see if that's true tonight. Yep, we'll keep an eye on that. The number one objective, Clark, of this Bulls defense has to be limiting Dominic Wilkins' looks. They, they've got to contain that incredible scoring of his. Kevin, you're all over it, right on point. I mean, if Chicago can't disrupt his usual scoring, then they're in for a long night and some real trouble. You know, Clark, in some ways, this game could come down to either Jordan's or Wilkins. And who scores the most? Outperforming the other could seal the game for their team. And, Kevin, that's exactly what we'll be keeping a close eye on. Which one is leading in the point column? Because I agree the winner of that duel very well could decide this thing. Oh, what a duel it's going to be. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan letting the Hawks know his range is legit. He doesn't always have to penetrate. He can knock down the jumper, too. Passes it to Conker. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Good finish from Conkak. You do not need to jump very high when you're seven feet tall. Jackson with the ball. Wilkins picks him up. So they take the lead. Jordan's got 13. And that's exactly what they want to do. Get him open looks early. 
Credit to these Hawks, Clark, for having a constant postseason presence these last few seasons. Three straight second round appearances, and then last year, a tough loss in the first round. But I say, don't let that fool you. These Hawks are a very competitive team. They really are. And so Grant will bring it up for the Bulls. And Jordan has it in the corner. From downtown, good, and Grant gets the assist. He's got 16. Jordan, really confident rising up from deep. When he's in rhythm, he sinks these outside jumpers. 41 seconds left in the first. Here's Malone. Second chance effort. The rebound by Cartwright. Well, you will not see that from him very often, especially right at the rim. And here's Jordan outside. And the Bulls, another three. Things are coming together nicely for him offensively, gelling well, starting to build the lead. The pass to Rivers. Candy battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Doing damage inside, Rivers absolutely fearless. Loves to take it up in there. Malone sets the pick for Rivers. Pass to Webb. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And so he hits the technical free throw. off the inbound Michael Jordan getting it done for Chicago what an amazing quarter there was absolutely no stopping him and don't go away we'll be right back welcome back everyone to Chicago as the second quarter gets underway it's been an exciting game so far between the hometown Chicago Bulls and the visiting Atlanta Hawks for the Bulls, they've got a new coach at the helm this season. With Phil Jackson, this is his first stint as a head coach here in the NBA. And so in the game for the Hawks, Smith is out there with Tony. Then there's Willis. Then there's Antoine Carr. And it's Wilkins in at the three. And with that, the Chicago lead is cut down now to just four in the basket from Dominique Wilkins. And here are the Bulls now. Jackson, of course, a former player, a former assistant under Doug Collins in Chicago. And Clark, I hear he's got some interesting ideas when it comes to on-court strategy. Well, Kevin, you know, he's certainly got some good pieces to test those ideas out with. There's no denying that. But what I think matters most is that the guys seem to relate to him and like him. Chemistry between players and head coaches is critical. Well, you know, you played a long time, and you know how important that, that connection can be. That's a very key deal. You know, looking back at the opening quarter, Clark, Jordan managed to stay ahead of Wilkinson point score. Yeah, really good start for him, Kevin, in that regard, but can he keep doing that the entire game? Mm, right. That is good. And the Bulls lead is cut down to five on the bucket from Wilkins. An outstanding finisher. Wilkins is at his best when he's attacking aggressively. And here's Jordan outside. The shot misses. And Atlanta will come the other way. Puts the move on. Rebound by the Bulls. Boy, patrolling the paint well, protecting the rim, that's exactly the kind of defensive effort you need against him. Well, you got to appreciate how consistent these Atlanta Hawks have been. I mean, season to season, even while going through some roster shakeups, they've been steady. So far, Michael Jordan has been getting just about Clark everything he wants on the offensive end. And that's not unexpected, but, you know, that doesn't bode well for the Hawks as Wilkins has been unable to answer Jordan with shots of his own, which I think says a lot about the job the Chicago defense is doing. I agree. Willis, no good. Clark, as we know, last year the Hawks were able to hit 50 wins for the fourth consecutive season. And, Kevin, I think that speaks to, obviously, the product on the floor, but the quality of their organization, too. I mean, these are players and coaches who just know how to win games. Oh, and they need a basket in the worst way. I think they're forcing things right now, and it's why their offense looks so pedestrian. 
Let's go to David Aldridge, who has some inside info on the Chicago Bulls. Hey, Kevin, when you talk to the coaching staff and you say, what's the key to success against the Hawks, they have a one-word answer. Michael, they expect big numbers from Jordan, probably exceeding his average of 35 points from last season. Back to you, Kevin. Well, that's good stuff there, David. Sometimes, Clark, the answer is that simple, I guess. Yeah, you don't have to complicate it, especially when you're talking about Jordan, because he does make it really simple. Although he's not a one-man show, his whole team is going to have to still step up. And they take pride in it, don't they, helping this very special talent do what they've got to do. Yeah, they're pros, and they get their checks twice a month, too. The Hawks and the Bulls, when you look at the measurables of teams and players, pretty standard for the league with explosively athletic backcourts and then quite a bit of size down low, too. And they double up Jordan. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. And that's now 30 points for Michael. Jackson against Webb. Too long in the paint, and he's hit with a three-second violation. Well, we were talking about size. Both of these teams start a seven-footer at center. Yeah, you know, Concac and Cartwright are very imposing at that position, Kevin. And then you get Grant and Malone are paired evenly at 6'10". So, hey, there's no way this game is not going to be physical in the paint. Yeah, it'll be a battle for sure. Driving to the basket. Here's Rivers. And that one hits back iron. And now Dominique doesn't seem to be having much issue, Clark, working around the Bulls' defense. And that doesn't bode well for Chicago. I think they've got to get a better handle on him, Kevin. They've got to corral him. If Dominique is just getting whatever he wants, whenever he wants, that is terrible news for the Bulls. And Wilkins slams it in. Boy, nice setup with the pass, and Wilkins bounces up knowing just what to do with it. Jackson kicks to Jordan. That one falls, coming off of Paxson's speed. Jordan's got the lead up to 12 now for the Bulls. 54 seconds left to play here in the half. Webb the pass to Malone. Over Cartwright. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. He just can't seem to get anything to go. He's in a bit of a rut. And they double up Jordan. And he's good on the three ball. Jordan's got a couple of three-pointers in the second for the Bulls. Efficiency personified there. Jordan scoring at will, taking over the game whenever he chooses. Jackson against Webb. Wilkins wide open, and he fires. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. One of the best ways to respond to a trifecta knock down one of your own. Jordan with the bucket. Once Jordan gets inside with the Rockets practically all over. He's that consistent at close range. Here's Webb. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And there's the defensive three-second call. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. And the technical free throw is good. Seven seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Here's Wilkins. Great D that time from Jordan. And so it's the Chicago Bulls looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. They've had such great ball movement and shot selection, and it's led to a terrific field goal percentage. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break. So welcome back, everyone, to the third quarter of this contest between the Bulls and the Hawks, where Michael Jordan and Dominic Wilkins have been going at it. Bulls leading by 13. And as this second half gets underway, the defensive ability of the Hawks and Bulls only become more important. you got to limit your opponents down the stretch, and both of these teams have the ability to do that. They've got Pippen. Jordan is out there with John Jackson. Then it's Cartwright, and it's Grant in at the power forward. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. 
Webb the pass to Wilkins. Fade away. The rebound by Pippen. We were talking about this before, but Clark, some very capable defenders on both sides of the floor. No doubt about it, Kevin. I mean, the duo of Pippen and Jordan, so effective at wreaking havoc and forcing turnovers. And the Hawks have Doc Rivers, who can hassle ball handlers. He's physical as a backcourt defender, as well as Moses down low to eat that glass and block shots, too. Both are fun to watch. We're going over the numbers from the first half. Clark Jordan was able to top Wilkins in scoring in the first and second quarters combined. A critical advantage partner that he worked really hard to get. Not all of his hoops were easy ones. Right, you're right on that. I think Jordan could do this all day long. I mean, the mid-range area is a very comfortable area for him. Left side, Wilkins. No good on that one. Good D by Jordan. Here's Pippen. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance That's here good. for one more at the line. I like that they're putting in the work, trying to build this lead out. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. First team at the line for the free throw good from Pippen. I think what you most appreciate about Pippen, at least I do, is his versatility. I mean, he scores it, he rebounds, he passes, and he defends at a really high level. Here's Concamp. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Bulls leading by 19 points. When you think about Michael Jordan, you think about scoring, putting the ball in the basket. But he does a lot of other stuff out there as well, like moving the ball effectively. I don't know what the heck the defense was thinking there. I mean, he's cast from this area of the floor, and they let him walk into it. That's the Conkin. It's Wilkins on the wing. To the paint, here's Malone, and it's slammed in by Malone. Yeah, Malone showing you the bounce. How high he got up there, dunking comes pretty easy to him. It's quite easy when you get that high up. You know, we touched on it. Last year, Michael Jordan Clark was actually eighth in the league in total assists. He was a top 10 assist guy. It's not something that comes to mind when you think about him, but it's very impressive nonetheless, Kevin. Shows you what kind of leader he is. He knows he's got to get his teammates involved and work well with them for his team to be its best. Yeah, he's a terrific facilitator. No doubt. Outstanding execution. Good job working the ball inside. No good from Jordan. These Hawks have a trusted and capable leader steering the ship, and that's Coach Mike Fratello. He won Coach of the Year for his work with this team in the 86 season. Wilkins. And good coming off the assist by Spud Webb. Webb's got assist number seven for him tonight. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. Yeah, an experienced coach who knows his team inside and out. That's Mike Fratello. Clark, do you think that gives the Hawks an advantage? I think it could, Kevin. I mean, Coach Fratello will have an easier time seeing what his team needs out there and will know what adjustments best suit this squad. Here in the third quarter, the Bulls, Clark, have managed to be pretty effective when it comes to defending Dominique Wilkins. Yeah, you know, their focus, Kevin, in terms of defending him, I think has really been good. Really good. And I think you can tell it started to frustrate Dominique a bit. You can. And so it's Pippen with it. He brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. Two points. That one goes. Jordan's got 50 points. Well, Pippen really has a good eye for the floor. I mean, he sees open guys and knows exactly how to get it to him. As we get deeper into this game, Clark, it has been all Jordan offensively, as we can see, leaving Dominique well behind him. You know, I didn't think it would be this one-sided. I mean, Jordan has just been operating at a totally different level, and Dominique has not managed to match that intensity or production. You're so right. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. King's checked in for Cartwright. Hodges comes in for Pippen. And B.J. Armstrong has subbed in for Paxson. Here's Wilkins. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. Chicago leading by 22. King inside. He's defended by Wilkins. King's shot is off. Wilkins against Jordan. Rivers passes to Willis. Shoots over King. Willis, no good. 
I think in that situation, it was a nice try to create some space for himself with the fadeaway. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Back to King. Shoots over Willis. King, that's good. Big fellow's got a nice stroke now. Stacy King could knock it down from the mid range. Offensively, Clark, things have sort of fallen apart for him. And they need to recover as soon as possible. And here's Armstrong. No points in the game yet for him. Misses from the corner. Michael Jordan getting it done for Chicago. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no sign. Welcome back, everyone. We get into the fourth quarter of this thrilling game between the Atlanta Hawks and the Chicago Bulls. And this crowd is feeling it. As this game wears on, you have to be so conscious of Michael Jordan. I mean, he's got something of a reputation for being a closer, and that's an understatement. He finds a way to push himself beyond his limits to come up with clutch points when his team needs it most. And so in the game for the Hawks, Wilkins is out there with Antoine Carr. Then there's Tony, and it's Rivers, and it's Willis in at the center. Cartwright's checked in for Chicago. Pippen comes in for Hodges. Down low, here's Carr. The dunk and the foul, a powerhouse move, and he's got a chance for one more at the line. It goes on Horace Grant. Knowing that Michael Jordan likes to explode down the home stretch offensively, Clark, think the Hawks might increase the defensive pressure on them. You know, it wouldn't shock me, Kevin, if they did just that. Just make sure somehow, some way, you don't allow him to put together a run. The Hawks trail by 19. With the drive. A putback. Rivers controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. You know, something I like about both of these teams, the Bulls and the Hawks, is the experience they have, the range of experience. I mean, you've got younger guys like John Conkak and Horace Grant, and then you've got the seasoned veterans like Moses and Bill Cartwright. It's a really good balance. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. Passes to Willis. And the dunk by Carr. Really hard not to see the open teammate right there. Good find by Willis. Clark, I've always wondered how valuable you think it is for younger players to get a chance to play alongside more experienced players. Kevin, I think it's crucial and absolutely vital. Older guys have a way of being able to teach a young star so much about patience and which battles you fight and which ones you let go and how you carry yourself as a pro and all of the nuances of playing in the NBA. Good veterans can help young players set the tone for the rest of their careers. Oh, that's a great answer. Here's Cartwright, and that's collected by Malone. Malone's got his fifth rebound in this one. And there's the drive. Well, fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Looking back at the third quarter, Clark Jordan had the lead over Wilkins for points scored in that period. And Kevin, that could bode very well for MJ. Maybe some momentum coming into the fourth quarter where he has to continue to outduel Wilkins. And the Hawks making a change here. Contacts checked in. You know, Webb is known for being a high flyer. Despite being just 5'6", this guy can get up in the air like very few can. And he knows how to put on the show. He's an entertainer, a high flyer, but he's also a pretty well-rounded player, too. Five to shoot. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. And here's Malone. He'll bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. To the middle, here's Webb. Good, and it's Malone picking up the assist. Webb's got five points now in the quarter. You know, this is why Moses Malone's teammates like playing with him, because when they're uncovered and open, he finds it. And it's blocked. Webb with it. The kick out to Wilkins. The pass to Conklin. Sinks that one from the post. This game almost looked over 
Now it seems like this run could change all of that. Chicago calls timeout. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Here's Jordan. Great touch on the 16-footer. Jordan's got 52 points. Down the stretch, when you need buckets, go to the guy who's gotten you this far. Now Webb has to Rivers to the inside. And it's Wilkins finishing it off. More points for Wilkins. That's what he does. He's an explosive athlete and just as explosive as a score. Here's Jordan. It's good. Jordan's got 15 points in just the second half. Found the crease, took advantage, and got it in close. Now, here is Webb. Pass to Wilkins. No good on the shot. Nice D from Pippen. One fifteen left in the fourth quarter. Bucket is good. The thing about Pippen's jumper is that he gets good elevation and extension on it, making it hard to contest it. Pass to Wilkins. Jordan with some nice D. Well, Clark, they might want to milk the clock here. Great time to slow it down and get a good shot. Right side, Pippen. Up and in on the way. And the Bulls lead by 16. What a way for them to finish the game. Closing it out with some terrific play. Here's Webb, and it's a defensive three-second violation. And now, let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. Boy, he is all over that shot. I mean, had it read the whole way, got himself in the position, and then was able to make the play. Shooting for a lineup, Spud Webb. One shot. And he shows the focus there, nails the technical. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Will Purdue's checked in for Cartwright. Neely comes in for Horace Grant. King's checked in for Pippen. Armstrong subbed in for Paxson. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Kevin Willis is checked in for Concac. Carr comes in for Malone. Tony, he's checked in for Rivers. And Smith's subbed in for Wilkins. There's 25 seconds left in the game. Here's Armstrong, and the Bulls tack on two more. Really solid work from the mid-range there. I love seeing Armstrong rise up with the confidence he has in that stroke. Here's the pass to Willis. And it's Chicago with the rebound. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. From outside the arc, can't connect. And the Chicago Bulls card managed to pull out the win here tonight with Michael Jordan delivering a terrific performance to overcome Wilkins and these Atlanta Hawks. Yeah, Kevin, able to beat Dominique's offensive talents once again. Always special, though, to watch these two go at it head to head. MJ got the better of Dominique this time. He did tonight. But looking beyond just the two stars, Clark, as you like to say, this was a team win. Absolutely, Kevin. I mean, Jordan cleared and made the way, but the rest of the Bulls did a terrific job keeping up with them and putting a lot of pressure on this Hawks squad. Well done by the Bulls. Mm -hmm. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching. See you next time.